1988 National Track and Field Championships here at Porritt Stadium because it brings together for the first time for four years Peter O'Donoghue and John Walker, two of New Zealand's, of course, most preeminent middle distance runners. And there's John Walker, or should I say, John Walker will run in lane number two. It is, in fact, Walker. I think he might have had a haircut since the last time we've seen him. He looks a little different from behind. There he is, 36 years of age. He, in fact, uh, first won this title as a 20-year-old here on this uh, track way back in 1972, 16 years ago. He's won it a further six times since then, or five times since then, giving six in all. Alongside of him is Michael Heinmarsh from Auckland. Uh, Michael Craig, the tall figure there in the Wellington colours. And Peter O'Donoghue in lane number five. So the two Aucklanders, Walker and O'Donoghue, but we shouldn't forget Michael Craig, who ran so well at the Robin Tate Memorial Classic meeting a few weeks ago. In fact, is the fastest 800-metre runner in New Zealand this summer. And also Colin McDonald, the defending champion, the small Canterbury figure. There he is in the red and the black out to the left of the picture. And it's pretty rough in there at the moment. Craig and Savadon getting tangled up with each other as Colin McDonald settles down at the front of the field as they make their way round through the 200 metre mark. So this is one of the great races that we've seen in the national championships. For many years we haven't seen a clash of excellent runners and in this race of the eight of them, seven of them have run under 150 which is some quite some achievement by New Zealand standards. Bruce Adams in the lead has run 149.9. Jock McDonald won it last year in 149.7. Bruce is uh, Adams in the lead is uh, the second last year and he is expected to do well today by his coach. So it's Adams leading from McDonald, then the two tall Aucklanders, Michael Heinmarsh and John Walker down on the inside, who just looked around, I think, to see where Peter O'Donoghue was, and O'Donoghue is buried right in the middle of that pack. Is that where he wants to be, John? I'm not sure that it is, and the pace is really too slow, 57.34 through the 400, and the quick acceleration of Walker could win it for him. So Walker makes his move 300 metres from home, Heinmarsh is going with him. And O'Donoghue is trying to find some way through there as well. Michael Craig, the tall one and Tony, being forced wide at the 200 metre mark. It's still Walker from Heinmarsh. And O'Donoghue has moved into third place. Now this is a big gap for O'Donoghue to make up. Walker has a ton of strength. Has he got the speed? And this is a very crafty race coming here from John Walker. And O'Donoghue has got a big gap to make up there as they all sit out after the old war horse. But Walker, he's 36 years of age. He might have the oldest pair of legs in this race. But what a win for John Walker. He well and truly buried this field, no question about it. There he is, John Walker at the age of 36, winning his seventh 800 metre title, and he looks pretty relaxed. And I'm sure he probably had some more in store if he had to have dug a little deeper as well. Well, that was a classic 800 metre race. Tactics were important. Walker, the mastermind, played them extremely well. Michael Heinmarsh, the 400 metre runner, on his tail, running exceptionally well. And O'Donoghue being swamped by the speed of 400 metre runners. Udel Hoban, the German, in the black and gold on the outside. But just look at the supreme composure of the master runner, John Walker, here. He's given a lesson to these runners in tactics. He made the move. He won the race. John Walker wins it, slow 150.6, Udelhoven second, and a tremendous race going for third, and I think it will go to the man from Wellington, Bruce Adams, in that last one metre. John, that was a brilliant tactical race on your part. Uh, was that the plan to go when you did? No, it wasn't. Uh, I was going to leave it till the last 150 to go, but I was in an awkward position. I was up front, I was boxed, and I was hoping that I would get out and be able to put some pressure on it, because I was looking around for Peter O'Donoghue, I couldn't see him, I knew he was wide at the back and that meant if I could get a jump on him that he had to cover an extra lot of ground and come wide again. So I just hoped that I could have enough strength, you know, my 1500 metre strength, get to the front and sort of hold back a little bit and kick off the bend and it worked. And uh, probably this is one of the most pressurised uh, nationals I've had for a long time, 36 against 26 and uh, it was a great result. And John Walker's winning time, only just over a second slower than his winning time when he first won this 800-metre title back in 1972. You say Udelhoven from West Germany was second, and Bruce Odoms from Wellington third, and the third New Zealander home was Peter O'Donoghue.